Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay God. In today's video, I wanna focus on something a little bit different and that is how to navigate the map. And I wanna try and break it down just a little bit easier because more often than not, I'll get comments of people asking, well, how do you know where enemies are gonna be? How do you know how to move around the map? And I decided to actually try and mess around with my streaks a little bit and to see if I can get the higher end streaks without having a UAV. And hopefully I won't get too much hate for using a thermal. I was trying to complete my challenges and one of them was to get long shots. And this was the ideal map and site to do it with. So throughout the video, what I'm gonna do is break down how I'm looking at the mini map as I'm playing for a few different matches. Also, if you have a particular question about the mini map as I'm playing, go ahead and leave the timestamp down in the comment section with that question, and then I can go ahead and follow up and answer those. And if you enjoyed the video or find it helpful in any way, please remember to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video over a thousand likes. If we can do that within the first 24 hours, I'll make it a priority to get started on that ranking video for the best SMGs right now in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And if you actually look to improve at call of duty which is what my primary focus is on the channel make sure you do hit that red subscribe button turning it to gray with notifications on by ringing that bell so right now i am running a little bit of the higher end streaks i have a sniper's nest the thresher and i have a strike team and the ideal goal is to be able to run these two to three times a match so getting the first set of streaks is going to rely heavily on that map awareness and positioning based off your team on this map here the spawns are kind of whack because the map is so big it's very hard to flip the spawns until all of your team has crossed that middle point and is literally in the enemy spawn. So I was wondering if that guy would recheck that and then I go ahead and decide to get around this left side because this area is going to be a little bit less traveled. You can see I'm kind of pushing through. I see the enemies up top. I'm deciding how I want to approach this. I jump up, spam the trigger, close flank range, and then go ahead and take out the other one. That was a little bit of aggressive play there that I probably could have died if those guys were a little bit more accurate or on guard, but I ended up able to back up and then reposition. So right here, I'm kind of peeking this left side because I'm expecting someone to be over here. And the guy does end up popping up and then I know I'm not in a good position. The guy was already looking at me. I said, hey, you know what? Let me get out of there. And I happened to catch this shotgunner. I could hear the gunfire go off when the guy hit my teammate. And that's why I was kind of back strafing just a little bit as the guy was rushing toward me so I can limit the opportunity to get shot in my chest by that shotgun. So right now what I'm gonna do is start working my way around this right side, but I don't know if it's 100% clear. So as I jump out, you're gonna see me pre-aim certain areas kind of center on certain areas where I expect players to be. See my teammates running in front of me. I kind of peeked that real quick to see if anyone's popping out. And a lot of enemies tend to come around this right side where this guy is looking. So I go ahead and push around this left side because my teammate has that side covered. So when you're looking at the mini map, there's a lot of things you'll be able to see. You can see right here, I'm gonna pre-aim it really quick. And then I end up hitting the guy once. And I gotta back off because I'm not 100% sure where that guy's gonna rush me from because this is a long range weapon, not at close quarters. I don't fire my weapon just yet. I wanna make sure I got it lined up and then I'm able to take the guy out and I get my sniper's nest. But what I was gonna talk about with the mini map is the fog of war is a real thing. So that cone in front of all your teammates, if they see an enemy, it'll pop up on the mini map. If people fire their weapons without a suppressor, it'll pop up on the mini map. If somebody has a UAV in the air, it'll pop up on the mini map. If your strike team is kind of patrolling near an area and they start firing, that's telling you that someone's in that area. If someone has a dog, you're gonna know they're in that area. So there's a lot of these little cues you gotta pay attention to. Plus, on top of all that, you can see where your teammates are in these little pockets or little voids around the map. Even if someone's not firing their weapon, they're not shooting, they're not popping up in one of those other methods, you can kind of have a good guess of where enemies are gonna be based off of these voids. So right here you can see I prioritized the guy that was actually shooting at me. The other guy didn't quite see me yet. Going around thinking that the guy's gonna come through and then once he doesn't, I go ahead and work my way back to see if the guy's there. See, I kind of pre-aim it, he decides to push and then it's an easy cleanup kill. And you can see how these streaks start rotating rather quickly. And even without that UAV in the air, now I can start playing a little bit more aggressively and play fast. And this is also going to lead to those free kills. A lot of times people will stand in their spawn and they're going to end up anchoring their spawn and not allowing the spawn to flip while they're trying to shoot down things. They pull out the Titan or this guy with the launcher ends up getting taken out or whatever the case is. Here's where I play a little too aggressive, trying to get some kills in the spawn because I thought everyone was distracted but there is one guy with the KM that absolutely lasers me. And since all the enemies are still sitting in that spawn, they're all distracted. My strike team's going through. You have people switching to shotguns to try and knock me off a streak and things like that. But at the end of the day, once you got your streaks fully rolling, you're gonna have a good idea of where all the enemies are. So even though I had a very slow start, I still ended up going 61 and one, which is pretty much what you're able to do once you get these streaks rolling. So for this next gameplay, you're gonna see something very similar. I'm just trying to read the minimap, see where enemies are, and play off my overall experience. Right now, I don't have a clue where anyone's at. I'm kind of just pre-aiming certain areas. I adjust and react. This guy who has body armor, I've been able to take him out a couple times, not running FMJ. 
or anything like that so i'm gonna have to make sure i win those gunfights or land headshots since i just came from this corner spawn i feel like this area is pretty safe and then i decided to push the middle cabin to see if i can help out my teammates the guy peeks through but all my teammates are able to finish him off i haven't really been able to get any score here but i'm just playing cautious knowing where the spawns are likely to be so i'm peeking this high traffic area i land a couple shots there i'm debating if i need to push backwards and then i decided to push around the corner i jumped out luckily i was able to pre-aim the guy just a little bit but just kind of guessing they were there i didn't really have a clue just yet and now i'm deciding if i want to go around for the flank because i'm expecting everyone to be on that lower end spawn and right now i can see one of the enemies in an engagement with one of my teammates so i come around for that flank land a few shots but since the guy has body armor he's able to survive the engagement my teammate ends up finishing him off since i noticed that there's a few more enemies by the cabin i decide to push around with my other teammate because the power position is more where the cabin is, not coming out of that building. So I'm kind of pushing around, get the assist there, and then I work my way back around. I'm expecting that the enemies are still coming around this section. That's why I kind of pre-aim it, see if I could peek them as they come through that doorway. Then I work back around towards my teammate. Again, playing a little bit slow, playing a little bit passive. Not necessarily camping because I haven't stood in one spot. I come around the corner, notice the guy, end up meleeing him. And I see another guy is creeping around, gets in a gunfight, I'm able to take him out. So I go ahead and work through the cabin because you typically want to go ahead and do a quick check in the cabin to see if anything's going on. Looks like we do have pretty solid control of it. I peek the window right there and then I see the guy on the rock and then he's using that operator mod and I want to kind of avoid that. And the main reason for that is because he actually has a pretty strong position. Even though in most scenarios I'd probably challenge that, the fact that he gave away the weapon he's using... I don't know if he's using a thermal titan which in that position it'd be a lot easier for him to see me than it will be for me to see him so i work around this side i kind of peek that right side as i'm coming around and then i know i'm going to get an easy kill here i have my sniper's nest i'm only 50 off of this one i decide i want to push and my teammate ends up taking that angle before i can thought i'd be able to take the guy out but it looks like the teammate was able to clean him up now i'm pushing through with my teammates i'm a little bit off the streak so i go ahead and peek the cabin really quick and then i see someone pop up down low i go ahead and try and get him teammates were able to take him out and then there is a guy where i was pre-aiming land a couple shots there but didn't feel safe with the titan it tends to melt way too quick in some scenarios so i just avoided that completely a lot of times what i would like to do is close those distances so i can get those kills a little bit more effectively because at close range the titan doesn't have a ton of mobility so a lot of times you can out move the enemy so at this point what i'm really doing is trying to chase one kill because that one kill basically set me up for the rest of the match because I can move way more comfortably, more freely, and I know they're going to end up spawning down low. Really all I'm waiting for is the tell, and then that tell will pop up very shortly. I go ahead and grab the ammo, I still check it, because I do want an easy kill, and this is what's going to end up playing out. My teammate gets an engagement there, I kind of pre-aim them as they're coming up, and then I know I'm going to be able to get one. This guy comes around, I'm able to take him out, and then I decide to get out of there, because I know I have full streaks now, I'm going to call in that thresher, I'm going to call in that strike team, and now I'm able to push through, knowing that this is where the enemies will be spawning in i go ahead and call my drone for the first time i could have probably put it up earlier but i didn't want to give away my position but now that i have full streaks i feel very comfortable where enemies are going to be so i skipped ahead and keep in mind that this is the exact same match so look at how freely i'm moving around i'm running and gunning a little bit more and that's because i know the enemies on their back heels they got to worry about the streaks they got to worry about these gunfights end up lasering this guy off the head glitch so right here's a perfect scenario you can see this guy with the oppressor operator mod that was being annoying the entire match he's distracted by my strike team i'm able to kill him get the relentless and i ended up going 44 and 0 and what we'll do for this next gameplay it's gonna be what happens once the streaks are already there because your thought process in the mini map has to be that much quicker this ended up being my only death of the match and that's because i ego challenged two guys when i knew they were coming around the corner besides that i don't die for the entire match so once you have a good grasp of how the spawns work and you can understand how these streaks affect gameplay you should be able to just run around the map full on sprint. The main reason for that is because the strike team is going to go ahead and be a little bit mobile and rush towards where the enemies are. The other part with the sniper's nest and the thresher, a lot of time will shut down those players trying to shut down your streaks. Whether that's a hacker, the launchers, the Titan FMJ users, and the players that aren't shooting down streaks, it's going to force them to get to cover. And a lot of times they're going to change their behavior. I see there's a couple guys behind me. So as they come up around, I know I'm going to come back around, take that guy out. And I know there's another guy down low. I'm just pre-aiming. You can see how I'm reading the mini map and I'm reading it pretty fast. I know there's a guy over here. Team and I'm taking him out. I'm rushing over here because I know they're spawning in. And as the guy comes up the stairs, I can pre-aim, take him out. I know there's another one. I'm going to engage it, pre-aim, take it out. And I'm reading the mini map. I know there's about two or three of them still coming up from this left side. And I'm going to go ahead and take a different angle. 
while my strike team's pushing around with me. My teammates are pushing over there. There's a guy in the corner doing whatever he's doing. I'm able to take him out and then snap on the other one and take him out. And you can see how aggressive you can play with these streaks in the air, knowing that they're going to be on your side. A lot of times, teammates aren't there for you. So you got to make sure you get these streaks. And more often than not, what will end up happening is your teammates will actually start streaking themselves, which will be a bigger snowball effect. And that kind of just rolls over the enemy lobby and makes it as easy as possible for you. I know there's two up here. I kind of just ego challenge. I take out the first one. While I'm backing up, the second one gets damaged and the team is able to finish the guy off. For whatever reason, my teammate has the torque barricade there, so I gotta go ahead and kind of push around. I end up getting a little bit lucky there as the guy's running out, trying to get into the spawn. Go ahead and heal my teammates, and now I gotta push all the way to the other side, knowing that the spawns are on this side. I would've gone up that route, but since my teammate blocked it off, that's not really the safe route for me. And what I'm trying to do is get in the enemy spawn as fast as possible. Seeing if I could pick anyone up. Guy ended up being in the window. I know there's two up here, and it looks like my teammates are engaging with them. They took them out, and as I jump up, I'm expecting enemies to come from this side. And sometimes people ask, well, how do you know this is where the enemy's going to be coming from? I end up taking this guy out, kind of move back towards my teammates. And the way you know is until a teammate spawns in that area, that is the enemy spawn. Since I can see that all my teammates are already pushing to the other side, I'm assuming the spawns are going to flip. So I'm already taking that proactive approach. Teammate called in a UAV like I called, and I'm going to run up over here and maybe get a couple kills. I get this first one, the guy challenges, I take out the second, and then I challenge the third. And that happened all as a result of that flank. You can see how I pushed through, my teammate spawned on me, so now I know the enemies are spawning on the opposite end of the map. And I end up taking this first guy out, and then I push through, and I have a good idea where the enemies are based off the minimap. There's at least two or three enemies in this back area. I read the mini map and then I'm able to take them out. I finished the match 51 and 1. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. If you're brand new to the channel and you'd like to continue to improve at Call of Duty, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Turn it to gray with the notifications on by ringing that bell. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.